Welcome to Norfolk Perspectives, I'm Bob Batcher, and actually we have three special guests right on the sofa from the Norfolk Animal Care Center. Jessica Guckert, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? Okay, you're Administrative Assistant at Norfolk Animal Care Center, but that means so much more than just being an Administrative <laughs> Assistant. It right? does mean a whole bunch more. Um, not only do I help coordinate all the efforts for our front reception area, I help do the billing and everything else. We kind of all dabble, mm -hmm. no matter where we are in the shelter. It's a very well-rounded establishment. And, and do you improve. get to hold a dog or a cat or a duck every now and then? Every now and then I get to snuggle. Okay. I do a lot with, with a duck. <laughs> well, not with the ducks, with the dogs and cats. Okay, cool. Okay. And then Heather Smith, kennel supervisor. Yes. Hence, you're holding our special guest. Yes, <laughs> this is Muffin. She's one of the dogs that actually was just recently officially adopted by one of our wonderful volunteers. That's awesome. Now she, uh, she's got a story, mm -hmm. and which really makes it a special adoption. It, it definitely does. When she arrived at the shelter, she had uh, glaucoma, which was causing a lot of pain and discomfort in her both of her eyes, and it had gone untreated for we're not sure exactly how long. Mm -hmm. um, and so the best thing to do for her was actually to remove the eyes, and then she had to go into foster uh, for some time after that, and her foster mom <laughs> actually ended up adopting her. Now, we've, it, I'm not going to mention this foster mom's <laughs> name, but she, if you go to her house, you've got about three <laughs> to birds that she fosters. Mm -hmm. She's got about two. Now, mainly the dogs that she's been doing are husky. quite large, yes. Okay. <laughs> Has this dog ever walked after uh, her surgery? No, <laughs> not much. She tends to be just carried and snuggled. Look, like, but let's take her success story mm -hmm. and roll it back as to what would have happened maybe five, six years ago. Several years ago, we would not have had the funding that would have been able to pay for that type of surgery. And so what would have, because Muffin is how old? She's 14. Yeah, so she's a senior dog. Mm -hmm. So she's a senior dog with some pretty severe medical issues when she arrived at the shelter. So her prospects would have been pretty grim. So, but now? But now, thanks. How did her surgery get paid for then? Uh, the Friends of the Norfolk Animal Care Center, okay. who does a lot of our fundraising, or really all of our fundraising, yes. um, enables us to help pay for a lot of different medical issues, some of our more severe cases, um, eye removals, amputations, et cetera. Heart yeah. Heartworm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know that one of the uh, showcase dogs uh, is a tripod. Oh. An amputee and <laughs> she's kind of becoming the poster dog. Absolutely. Um, I tell you, with the fundraising events, we have the two annual events so far, Dogs Gone Swimming mm -hmm. um, that Friends helps with and also the Dogtoberfest. Those are two significant ways that we can help with the community outreach as well as help benefit all of our pets, especially with their medical needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you didn't really, when Muffin came in, you were by ordinance, you're required to take muffin. Yes, absolutely. We have to accept everyone who comes through our doors, regardless of health, behavior. Um, everyone is welcome in our okay. shop. Now, you guys have become the number one, number one place. I think it's empirically proven someplace. Number one place <laughs> to, uh, to adopt a dog, cat, duck. Gas ferrets. Hamsters, guinea pigs, rabbits. rabbits. Snakes. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Tarantulas? Oh, yeah. No, no. You haven't had one of them yet? <laughs> okay, no. so... It's the place to go to adopt, and you've got to put, you know, we don't not just have muffins, we mm -hmm. have dogs that have been dogs, cats, and all those other animals mm -hmm. that are perfectly healthy. Mm -hmm. um, this has been a banner year in 2000. 2015 was a banner year, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Our numbers have been actually steadily increasing for several years now, um, and we had, um, I think it was, it was well over 2,000 adoptions this past year. So wow. not only the adoptions are increasing, but mm -hmm. our volunteers who help make that possible, all their hours are increasing. So by bringing them on board, they're helping us with our fosters. I mean, we couldn't do it without our volunteers as well. Right. Okay, I was gonna ask you, um, Jessica, what, what's your typical day in the shelter? And does it compare to the Disney typical day of the pound? I don't think there is such thing. There is not a typical day <laughs> because it changes every day. We never know who's going to come in through the door. So we're always prepared for wh whoever is going to be in need that's going to need our assistance when they come in. So really, there isn't a typical day. I'm sorry. There isn't a typical no. day. No. There really is. But when we think of the pound, it's not necessarily a happy place. Would you say our the Animal Care Center has now become a happy place? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, we do everything that we can to enrich the lives while they're there. That's our number one goal for all the animals that are there. So if we're not providing that enrichment for them, we're not doing a service to them, and that's what we're there to do. Um, so absolutely. Now, a lot of, I mean, let's face it, the population of the Animal Care Center comes from people bringing their, their animals in. Mm -hmm. um, 
when we talked about having muffin come on, I said, okay, mm. do we want to send a message? I've got a muffin, now I know where to put her. <laughs> we don't really, I mean, we don't want to encourage intakes. We want to encourage adoption. There is a way to do it. But right. what about that person that has the dog or cat that's, they're having issues with? I mean, we definitely encourage people to reach out to us before they make that decision to bring them in because if there are ways that we might be able to help them keep that animal in the home, we would really like to help work toward that. Um, but absolutely, I mean, if things really aren't working out and there are just um, circumstances that require that animal to come into us, then we work our hardest to try and make sure that we're able to rehome them. Okay, now your hours of operation? Feels like every day, we all day. We are. Right? I'm like, well, we are. We're open every day, um, 8 to 4.30, for people to come in for lost animals, owner surrenders, things like that. Um, typically, we're open every day for viewing and adoptions, with the exception of Monday. Um, so we, we're trying to be as accessible as possible. Um, so Tuesday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, we're open 11 to 4.30. Thursdays, it's our late night, so anybody with kids, after school activities normally, we're open from two to seven. So we try to wheel everybody mm -hmm. in. And then of course on Sunday, it's like the biggest family day ever, like outing day, 12 to 4.30. And if you think you're just come by and take a peek, you might have something coming, because it's not, it is not just muffins. Mm -hmm. It is some really cute little dogs, some oh, big yeah. dogs. Oh, absolutely. We have just about everything you can imagine. We see a lot of purebreed dogs also, um, even some purebred cats coming through the doors. Uh, and honestly, most of the mixed breeds are going to steal your heart. So. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to end on that. If you want a stolen heart, come on over to the Norfolk Animal Done. Care Center on Sable Road. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, check them out on the website if you got confused with the hours. And Muffin's getting ready to get on an airplane and take a vacation. That's right. What a life. I Thanks know. to the work that you all have done. Thank you, Bob. Hey, guess what? Nauticus has a special deal that only you will know about because you're watching the show. Stay tuned.